Let us answer the exercise questions. Question number A. Multiple choice questions. Do you know what are multiple choice questions? Four options will be given for the question. You need to choose the right option. Question number one. Which of these is or are an energy giving food? Out of these four food item, which one is energy giving food? So that we should identify. We should know energy giving food is either carbohydrate or fat. Carbohydrate or fat is called as energy giving food. So we need to identify out of four options which is carbohydrate or fat. Source A. Bread B. Fish C. Pulses D. Green vegetables Here green vegetables provide us vitamins. Pulses provide us protein. Fish will also provide us protein. And it is a bread which is the correct option because bread contains carbohydrate and carbohydrate is called energy giving food. So you need to put a tick mark that is the right mark for A. Right mark for A. All these like answers should be marked in your textbook itself. The image of the correct answers I am going to forward to your WhatsApp group. Question number two. Which of these is not a method of food preservation? Not a method of food preservation. Four options are given here. Canning, pickling, baking, salting. Out of these four options, canning, pickling, then salting. These are the methods of food preservation. Whereas the C option, baking, it is not a method of food preservation. So your uh, like uh, answer should be C. You need to put right mark here for C. Then third question. Which of these is spread by mosquitoes? Jaundice, chicken pox, dengue, measles. Out of these four options, okay, jaundice will spread mainly through water and food. Chicken pox and measles, they spread through virus. It is a dengue. Though it is a viral disease, it spreads through mosquito. Do you know which mosquito uh, spreads dengue? Aedes aegypti mosquito. Aedes aegypti mosquito. So your answer should be C. You need to put right mark for C. Then, fourth question. Iodine deficiency can cause. Iodine deficiency means lack of iodine. It can cause which disease or disorder? A is curvy, B is goiter, C is plague, B is beriberi. Remember, beriberi is caused due to lack of vitamin B1. Whereas plague is caused due to bacteria. Scurvy is caused due to lack of vitamin C. The answer for iodine deficiency is goiter. Goiter is caused due to lack of iodine in the diet. The symptom of goiter is swollen thyroid gland in the neck. Next, B. Match the words in the two columns. Match the following it is column A, column B. Column A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 words are given. You need to match this with column B. You can draw lines and match. First, carbohydrate. Out of these options given in column B, you need to no, which will match for carbohydrate. Mosquitoes, lack of vitamin D, vitamin C, energy giving food, lack of vitamin A cannot be digested. The correct answer for carbohydrate is energy giving food. You can draw a line from here to this. Energy giving food. I'll just show you how you can draw a line. You can put an arrow mark also indicating that is the answer. Okay, same manner you need to match for other words. And again the correct uh, answer image I will be forwarding to the WhatsApp group. Second one is roughage. Mosquito, lack of vitamin D, vitamin C, lack of vitamin A cannot be digested. We know roughage is nothing but fibrous component of the food, especially plant source food. Do you know it cannot be digested in our body? So your answer should be for the second one. You should draw a line till F. Then, so next is dengue. 
डेंगू मस्किटो लाक ऑफ वैटमि डी वैटमि सी लाक ऑफ वैटमि ए द आंसर फर् डेंगू इज मस्किटो बिकॉज डेंगू इज स्प्रेड थ्रू मस्किटो यू नो विच मस्किटो रईड एड इज इजिप्ट मस्किटो हाउ यू कैन ऐडेंटिफाई दट मस्किटो इट विल हव ब्लैक डार्क बॉडी वित् वैट स्पॉट आन इट देक्स्ट इज नैक्स्ट नईट ब्लैंड लाक ऑफ वैटमि डी Vitamin C, lack of vitamin A. We know night blindness is caused due to lack of vitamin A. So you need to draw a line from four to E. Then next is citrus fruits. Lack of vitamin D, vitamin C. We know citrus fruits like orange, lemon, mosambi. They are rich in vitamin C. So you need to draw a line from here till vitamin C. That is for fifth one. The option is C. Then rickets. Only one option left now. It is lack of vitamin D. So when when there is a deficiency of vitamin D in our food or diet, it will lead to rickets. Okay, deficiency disorder or disease. So you need to draw a line from six to B. Now, so next is C. Give one word for the following. Given this answer, also you can write in your textbook. Place a, a small like. Uh, Line here, then you can write the correct answer. So the image of the correct answer again, I am going to forward to the WhatsApp group. Question number one: Body building food. We know body building food is protein, so you need to write protein here. P R O T E I N. Then second question: A substance added to food to prevent spoilage. We know the substance that is added to food to prevent spoilage. It is called preservative. So we need to write preservative here. P R E S V A R I T I V preservative. Then third question: A disease that spreads from a sick person to a healthy person. It is called communicable, otherwise infectious diseases. Communicable or infectious? Any one you can write. Either you can write communicable disease or infectious disease. For the spelling, you can check the textbook. Then fourth question: A chemical used to kill germs. it can be used to wipe floors it is nothing but disinfectant disinfectant is a chemical which is used to kill the germs even it can also be used as floor cleaner so that is disinfectant d i s i n f e c t a n t all these answers you going to write in the textbook itself next d unscramble the letters to form words they are given a clue in the bracket by using that clue you can write the correct word the first one here it is given as nutrient and it starts with c the nutrient that starts with c is carbohydrate c a r b o c a r b o carbohydrate h y d r a t e carbohydrate then second question a classification of disease okay uh, disease can be classified as communicable and non communicable disease so here the answer is communicable it is so you can go for c o m m u again n i c here c is c a b l e so communicable so second word is communicable then third one is state of health state of health so that is here it is disease d i s e a s e so that is disease then fourth one a way to prevent diseases the way to prevent diseases it is immunization so i m m u n i s a t again i o n immunization okay then next is e answer the following questions answers for these question should be written in your notebook remember okay in your science notebook you need to write and uh, after each answer you need to leave one line space one line space even these answers also d answer for question number d can also be written in your notebook because here space is less 
So better you actually write in your notebook and scramble the letters to form words this one. So this can be written in your notebook as well as E also can be written in your notebook. Okay. Question number E. First question under E. Name the five types of nutrients in food that keep you healthy and fit. The five types of nutrients in food that keeps us healthy and fit are carbohydrates, proteins, fat, vitamins and minerals. So these are the five important nutrients. Then second question. What is the importance of roughage in your diet? Importance of roughage in our diet. It has been given here in this. Okay, page number two. In this paragraph, the answer is there. The answer is, it helps our body to get rid of undigested food. Mainly, it will help to eliminate or remove undigested food. That is the reason roughage is important in our food. Next question, third one. What is a balanced diet? The answer is present in page number 2 in this paragraph. A diet that contains the right amounts of all nutrients as well as water and roughage is called balanced diet. Fourth question. Why have foods been divided into four groups? Again the answer has been given in page number 2 in this paragraph. To make it easier for you to select a balanced diet, food have been divided into four groups. Do you know which are the four groups of food? Cereal group, vegetable and fruit group, milk group, then protein group. The food that we consume should come from these groups. Any one food item out of these four groups should be included. Then we will be eating balanced diet. Fifth question. How does chicken pox spread from an ill person to a healthy person? Remember, chicken pox is a communicable disease. Communicable or infectious disease that spread from one person to other. The answer for the question, how chicken pox spread from a sick person to a healthy person? It has been given in page number 4. Okay, in this paragraph the answer is given. When a sick person coughs, sneezes or spits, germs are released into the air. When a healthy person breathes this infected air, the germs can enter the healthy person's body. So this is how chicken pox spread from a sick person to a healthy person. Next, sixth question. Oh, what are vaccines? How do they help us get immunity against disease? The answer for the question is in page number 6 in this paragraph. What are vaccines means? Vaccines are made up of small quantities of dead or very weak germs of a particular disease or substances produced by these germs. They are swallowed or injected into the body. When they enter the body, the body produces substances that can fight the germs. Thus, the body becomes capable of fighting any future attack from germs of that disease. So, this is called immunity against a particular disease. So, this answer should be written for that question. Question number 7. What is the difference between infectious and non-infectious diseases? One difference they have asked. Infectious disease means the diseases which spread from one person to other. Sick person to healthy person. Non-infectious diseases means these are the diseases which do not spread from one person to other. That is the answer you need to write for 7. Then, page number, question number 8. What effect does lack of exercise have on, our, on your body? What effect does lack of exercise have on your body? The answer has been given in page number 6 and 7 in these two paragraphs. Lack of exercise makes your muscles weak and flabby. Flabby means not firm, hanging loose. Extra fat will accumulate in your body and make you overweight and unhealthy. So this answer should be written for that question. Answers for all these questions, that is question number E, 
and nearly eight questions are there so that should be written in your science notebook leave one line space after each answer i will be forwarding the image of these answers okay to the whatsapp group higher order thinking skills many parents tell their children not to eat street food what do you think is the reason many parents they advise the children not to eat street food the reason is if the street food is not prepared in clean or hygienic environment there is very high possibility it may lead to some infectious diseases like jaundice typhoid etc as well as most of the street food are junk food they may cause obesity that is accumulation of fat or overweight problem in children and whenever the individual becomes obese it may lead to heart problems also that is the reason we are not supposed to eat street food even the answer for this particular question i'm going to forward in the whatsapp group you need to write the answer for this question in your science notebook